think this is a great event. I think last year there were about like two to three hundred people that attended, and this year is almost double, tripled. Um, so it's it's great to see the level of engagement, and it also shows by the number of attendees, the diversity of companies that have come, that there is uh, a strong interest uh, from uh, not, not only the private sector but also uh, the public sector, government, and other you know Fortune 500 companies. So it's encouraging. It, it's only going to get bigger from here. It's, it's very exciting. Uh, I got to attend um, some of the pitches they gave yesterday and it's uh, energizing to be able to see what are some of the startups trying to achieve uh, creating uh, local solutions for the market. Um, uh, it's, just, it's just a great time. The way you look at uh, how many uh, people that are just coming online on the continent and uh, the number of businesses that are around, um, they, they need to be uh, uh, the ability for the um, for merchants to be able to reach this growing population. So there are uh, some companies that we're partnering with, Box Commerce, uh, that has already registered three million merchants uh, in South Africa. And we, uh, we, we've uh, offered them uh, a collaboration on Microsoft Azure. Uh, so that's one example on uh, some of the things that we are, we are here to share because we also want to be able to partner with more startups uh, because we believe that uh, uh, like our duty is to re-engage with, uh, with the tech community, starting with the developers, the students. Uh, we're actually opening up uh, a set of certifications where students can actually go online and uh, in a 12-month period be able to acquire those 21st century skills. So we're very excited about that. Um, but in terms of e-commerce, there's just so much opportunity. Some of the challenge we face uh, really is just getting um, because traditionally Microsoft has been, uh, we've been uh, on the continent for about 20 years now. And you know, as, as you know, some of our products are, are pretty much sold uh, all over the continent, you know, from Windows uh, to Office, Excel, uh, Word and PowerPoint, but also we have some of our enterprise customers. Uh, so we've, we, we've been doing a really good job, are, are engaging uh, uh, in, in terms of sales motion, selling products. But now one of the things we, we feel like we need to um, uh, address more is engaging with the youth. Because uh, as you know, uh, and I think I mentioned that in my presentation as well, the median age uh, in Africa is 19 years old. So there is a lot of, um, there are a lot of opportunities there with engaging the youth, uh, as I mentioned previously, with developers, startups, and students. So this is an area we like to engage more. Some of the things we, we, uh, we encounter is how do we get the word out? So being able to come here, and the participate at the African Tech Summit is, is a great opportunity for Microsoft not only to showcase um, uh, the company, but also to be able to talk one-on-one -on -one with startups, understand some of the challenges they are facing, ways we could partner, and uh, we have multiple programs on ways we can help. So just getting face-to-face -face is, is a great thing. What I'm, what I'm finding out is they are building solutions for the local market. And I think that's, that's really the way to go because uh, that will help them differentiate themselves, even at, at the global level, right? If you look at uh, the other emerging markets, some of the big companies, the only the, the startups that have exited are the ones that have been successful in addressing local problems. Uh, so, like, I, don't, I don't necessarily see um, um, some of the things they're doing necessarily wrong. Like, like, I would actually encourage more people to do it. I know it's very hard to be an entrepreneur, um, but there are a lot of resources out there, you know. I mean, Microsoft being one of them, but there are also other companies that are addressing them. We have a great program with the startups at Microsoft where we actually help onboard even early stage company by providing Azure credits where they can scale up their solutions in a pretty uh, significant way and, and, and pretty fast. So uh, there are multiple ways. So what I would really encourage for anyone at home thinking of an idea is to really just get started.